Hey, what's going on guys? Let's have a talk about Ash vs. Evil Dead Ash. Starting off, he's a leader, so he's a really good pick for any team comp, kind of as a secondary support, if you will. And as an old version of Ash, he's not the best at dealing any kind of damage in particular, but is wise enough to be prepared for anything. He uses the ability that damages the balance bar of all enemies within range, leaving them susceptible to finishers and a good utility for the ability, in a way, is to stun enemies. Good uses include giving yourself a teammate some breathing room when overwhelmed by like an evil Ash who has deadites all over the place all the time, or to stun the deadites long enough for a teammate to go get or go revive another. His passive is to reduce the fear of himself and nearby teammates, along with a little bit of extra percent damage. I think it's around 10%, uh, which makes him great for any party, but particular, he's really good if you have more than one hunter, because possession of a hunter can be absolutely devastating. His second passive is to start with a chainsaw, leading back to him being prepared for anything. It's not a huge boon, however, being that normally you'll find a weapon within the first two minutes of playing, and being that it's a white rarity. More often than not, you'll replace it within the first five minutes, as soon as you find a blue rarity or something better. Probably the weakest of his passives. Maybe if he started with a blue rarity chainsaw, it would be more useful, but I don't know how that would affect the balance of the game, so just as of right now, it's not that great. His last passive is to enhance the effects of his aura by 100% when performing an execute or dismembering an enemy. I do believe that's like the executes that don't kill them, but I, I'm not a scientist, I don't know. So, but however, this passive can be kind of ridiculous when surrounded by deadites, just to give this massive buff to all teammates that's almost constant. So you're just constantly dismembering and executing enemies. This buff will be up 90% of the time. Overall, I don't think he's really the best survivor, but he's definitely within like the top five in terms of usefulness and utility to the team. Now I'll go over a build that although it's not very creative and it's not very optimized, it works for me and it has a good balance between helping yourself and boosting your aura for your teammates. First off, I like to take four points into great influence just to boost the area of your aura to help teammates not have to be up your ass for the buffs. Next, I take three points into industrial strength, boosting your health by 20%. You won't be helping anyone if you're dead. Next, three points into seeing stars to deal additional 20% balance bar damage, which synergizes well with his last passive. The more executes and dismemberments, the more buffs you get for your team. 4 points into Devastating Force for the 15% extra melee damage. Kind of self-explanatory. You aren't useful if you can't kill anything. Now optionally, you can take some points into Last Word to boost your final hit in a combo, but in my opinion, even though I take it here, it's lackluster passive because most of the time you're not going to get the last hit. You'll be executing or something that enemies usually won't survive your last hit. Two points into cardio for more stamina helps you keep up with your team. One point into arcane knowledge really just to get the next passive. Quicker cooldown is nice for the 10% cooldown to have your ability up for all those oh shit moments. Now the last passive, Master of Influence, it would be beneficial to take points from last word to put here, but I didn't because Mimi small brain. Now, this build's pretty basic and like I said I'm not the kind of guy that find the strongest and most optimized build, but it works and there's not much room for creativity. So use it or don't. So the rest of this video is just gameplay, so let me know if you like this. I thought about doing a lore series, but I think it would fit pretty well into these character videos. Just kind of explaining the lore of the character while I'm talking about the character themselves. But let me know if you'd like to see that. Like and subscribe if you have any interest, otherwise I guess just keep kicking ass and have a nice day.